All right, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you wish. And don't forget to download the videos before, I mean, right after we finish. Today, our topic is about another silly uh, teaching in the cult of uh, the Muhammadan. Before we, uh, before we talk, we made a video just a few days ago about supposedly uh, a famous uh, actor or, you know, uh, uh, in Indonesia who uh, converted to Islam. And here I, and I notice that the weakness of, uh, uh, of faith of those who claim to be Christians, because if a, if a conversion of an actress or actor make you feel weak, I mean, obviously you are stupid and you are no Christian. Uh, you know, those people, they don't really care much for religion. Otherwise, they are not going to be actors who go and take their clothes naked. And is this guy, after he became a Muslim, is going to be he uh, growing a beard and going to pray all day? Or he just convert to a new religion so he can gain something? And I believe this guy is going to go to election very soon. And this is the point. The, the governor of Jakarta before him, who was a Christian, he is in jail because they accuse him that he insulted Islam. So I think this guy, he have an agenda, and agenda have nothing to do with religion. And there's many people, they take advantage of any, uh, you know, anything to get somewhere. There's people who marry from older women just to get their money. There's people who uh, join parties, uh, not to serve the country, but to, uh, you know, gain power. Uh, there's people, oh, actually 99% of those who do that, they are not serving the country, they are seeking their own power. So, you know, there is many things a human being does, and when somebody's an actor, the whole point of that, or actress, is to make you uh, feel weak, because he's an actress, or she's she's an actress, or she's, he's an actor, as if it's a, it's a big deal. I mean, those people are the last one to be proud about that they are converting to any religion, including Christianity. They bring me someone who is, you know, and, you know, I, I'm not against, by the way, if somebody's an actor, uh, he convert, but then if he convert, that should change his life. So let us see if this guy, his life will change. Is he going to do the, to disco and night club? <laughs> Is he going to do go to the bar? Is he going to uh, sleep around? Is he going to grow a beard and pray to Allah? Yeah, yeah you will see. This is just, a, you know. So don't be stupid and don't be silly. We have millions of people leaving Islam every day. But what count for the weak-minded people is an actress or an actor. And this is why Muslims, they target always famous people, like what happened when they targeted uh, Muhammad Ali, who was a boxer. So by converting one, they can have impact in millions who they like this guy, because those millions are a bunch of idiots. Uh, you know, we have millions and millions of actors who wear a cross. But any actress or actor, they go naked in TV, they are no Christians. As simple as that. They wear a cross, they claim that they are a Christian, but who cares? Many of you like uh, a person like Tom Cruise. Is Tom Cruise as a Christian? Uh, go and see what, uh, you know, what he do in TV. You know, he claimed to be Christian. What about the rest? I mean, very famous ones. So, I mean, if, if you are a weak person, if you are weak in faith, any, anything can affect you because you are weak. You, you, your glass is very thin. A little tiny rock can break it and make a crack in it. So this is always about a faith matter and how, how strong you are in your belief and how silly you are in life. Silly people, they put pictures of artists. How many of you have pictures of artists in their, in their bedroom? And don't don't worry. I'm I'm not insulting you. I'm just saying you are silly. And this is not an insult. I'm just telling you who you are. If you have many uh, pictures of artists in your books, and your uh, you are simply a teenage who is 12 years old, a kid. So if you are a growing person and you have those pictures, obviously you have something wrong with you. Hmm? I'm telling you. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. You know me. I'm not totally correct. I don't care who get upset. I don't care who get happy. If you are a person who put pictures of artists in your uh, room, obviously you have a problem. You know, if, if this is your idol, you see, you're worshiping idols simply. This is your idol. And this idol is an, is an idiot. 
go and see all the famous actress or actor who accused of filthy stuff and they commit filthy stuff additional to what they do live in TV if we search in uh, If you search in Google, you will find, you know, like tons of news about actors and etc. who accuse of many things. So, you know, you have to be careful. What about this? Uh, what is his name? The director. Most of the movies you love and you watch it and you spend money for it, etc. The director is a rapist. And even he raped men. <laughs> and by the way, the funny... The men who they are raped, they don't complain when they are raped. They complain later to make money. You know what I mean? Which is fishy, which means both of them, they are really... Uh, I mean, so... Uh, don't be silly and don't be stupid. This garbage is all over. What if the Muslim tomorrow they brought you one of those and say, okay, those guys they converted to Islam. Okay, and what is next? Does that mean they are Islam is good religion? Does that mean that Islam is a perfect uh, belief? You know, so uh, you know, uh, depending on how silly you are and how stupid you are, and I, I'm sorry to say that, but this is the fact. Uh, a human being. Uh, there is many kind of them there is some they are very weak-minded and anything can have an impact on them anything even a fart of a mosquito and because that's not because of a defect of your creation that's because you decided you want to be defected you know you decided that you want to be like that it was your choice Always in the Middle East, you know, the Muslims they put a lot of pressure on minority who they are Christians to convert uh, to convert into Islam, and when they convert somebody to Islam, you know, they control the country. They bring him to TV, interview, blah 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 blah, and we are dying laughing at this at this uh, comedy. It's a comedy. And when one of them, he leave Islam, they go after him to kill him. You see, when you convert to Islam, you will see the chief of police come in to witness uh, famous people, TV stations, and they shout, Allahu Akbar. What if this guy, he left Islam tomorrow, what they would do? The easiest way to know that Islam is a very ugly cult, that it's one way to go. You go in, you cannot leave. It's a mafia. Somebody is asking me, is Jesus, is Yahweh? First of all, the word Yahweh, the word Yahweh, I don't know if you know what Yahweh means. I mean, this is funny. When somebody claimed that he know the Bible and he know a name, and he says, is Jesus, is Yahweh? Obviously, you do not know what Jesus is and what Yahweh is. If I ask you, what is Yahweh? The one who asked me, is Jesus, is Yahweh? What does the word Yahweh mean? Hello? What does that mean? Do you know? How many times Jesus says, I am, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am, I am the beginning, I am the end. So, you know, there is people who claim to be Christians, but the fact they are not. And they will not be surprised if people, they come to you, in a clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves, which means they call themselves as a Christians or even they put a picture like for Jesus just to see to deceive you. So, silly question from a silly person who cannot be Christian. A Christian should not should know right away what we are talking about, should know even the definition, what the what the word Yahweh means. Otherwise, you will not even ask the question. Yahweh is not a name, Yahweh simply is a word. Present that how God he is 
that he is the one who exists by himself the whole Bible really does not have any name but for you because Yahweh is a foreign language you think the same as the Muslim when they heard the word Azar they thought it is a uh, it's a name of uh, the father of Abraham but in fact it's not it's a word mean foolish there is no name can describe God and there is no name can explain God but what we can say people and by the way always the Jews they avoid using God or let's say uh, using any any name to God because he is almighty the Jews don't really use any name to God when they say Yahweh they don't they're not using a name when they say Elohim this is not a name you know when they say Emmanuel it's not a name uh, <clears throat> Faris is uh, so sad uh, he said uh, Faris guys you know Faris the one who called me and he supposed to from the Gulf he said, what was the name of Al-Masih before he was born? I mean, look here how silly the Muslims too. Look at this. I mean, the answer in your question is in your question. Can you tell me why the Messiah have a name, Al-Messiah? Okay, his name in the Quran is Isa. So where is the Messiah coming from? <laughs> so you just answer yourself, Al-Masih, the Messiah, is his name. Otherwise, I want to hear you tell me why his name is Al-Messiah. Why the Messiah is the Messiah, not Muhammad is the Messiah. No answer. Because Islam is a stupid cult. The same as they believe that the, shit, the, 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 the dog is made from the, spy, the spit of shaitan. It's a, it's a false cult, you know, a collection of uh, uh, lies and stupidity. And we put them together and we make God and we make religion and we make prophets, you know. Sometimes when I read questions of people, I, I feel I feel sorry for them. I, I mean, sorry for them. Like people don't want to use their brain. I don't know why. It's like people they are having a strike. It's against my nature to use my brain. I use my brain too much. To the point it hurting me, literally. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> how are you, Toha? What Toha? What's happening to her? So uh, today our topic, all the silly stuff Islam teach. And the easiest uh, uh, way to understand uh, any cult is to think about silly stuff. It come in this cult with, with it. You know, like there's things come with, uh, with, uh, with this cult. But you will notice that Islam, all of it is silly. It's not only the story that a dog he was created from the spit of shaitan. What happened? Supposedly, the story according to Muslims that Allah uh, uh, he uh, he spit first on the sand. He want to make mud, and he left the sand because Allah wanted to humiliate Adam for some time to teach him that you are not really a big deal, huh? Okay, so I I spit there and I will leave you there. As if Adam is, uh, is going to feel that. I mean, this is silly, stupid. So anyway, so Allah created Adam 40 days after he spit on the sand to make mud. And then the angels, they took Adam with them and he, they walked by the shaitan. And when they walked by the shaitan, shaitan, he spit at Adam. If we go and read some Muslims' stories, it says, when Allah, he created Adam, he put him in the door of the heaven for 40 years. Angels walk over him, which means as a mud, as a dust, before he blew the spirit or the soul inside him, so he will be humiliated inside him, in his inner. And then when Iblis, he walked by, uh, and and the angels was walking by he uh, spit at the angels which means this uh, the police or shaitan he want to split at the split at the angels but uh, it happened when the angels are walking on the top of uh, Adam as dust 
they walk in the top of him and his iblis he spit and then the spit of shaitan fell in the sand where Adam created from and then it says and that spit fall in the belly of Adam and then Allah he ordered the angels to take out the mud which where shaitan he spit uh, uh, and then uh, he put it inside uh, like a hole in the ground and this is where the belly bomb of a human being is coming from you see the belly bomb of a human being according to Islam why you have a belly bomb because shaitan he spit there this is where the spit of shaitan came or fall uh, and then he says and Allah he created from that mud where shaitan he spit at the dogs the dogs are created from the mud of a prophet and that is Adam and the the spit of shaitan so dogs are made from the same mud of Adam and from and from the spit of shaitan not from the spit of Allah but here notice carefully what the Muslims they just did if the dogs are created from the spit of shaitan that means shaitan is the creator is God because how shaitan can create from the mud a dog unless he's a creator Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? I'm looking at my belly bomb now to see where Shaitan he spit in my belly. Look, the spit of Shaitan is made from acid. It make a hole there. Here you see how silly the cult of Islam trying to explain things we have in our life. Like, okay, why we have a belly bomb? Okay. The Muhammad and they come with a story. Okay, we have a belly bomb because shaitan he spit there. However, we will find that the Muslims, uh, you see, there is a book, it's called uh, the book of Barnaba. This is a fake uh, Bible. And then I don't know how the Muslims always they mention it. Anybody heard the Muslim saying the book of Barnaba mentioned the name of a prophet Muhammad? Any, did you hear it? All right. The book of Barnaba. Uh, which is a false book written long after Muhammad even not after Christ after Muhammad himself and we can prove that easy because you know like there's things in the book um, wasn't exist in the time not even 700 years not even 800 years after Jesus uh, like you know imagine I write a book and says to you I or I found a book uh, go back to the time of Jesus and in the book it says iPad or smart TV smartphone satellite <laughs> you know so there is many uh, you know it's very easy to to uh, to get this book posted but you will notice that the Muslims and that book they are in total agreement with all the city stories as an example in the book of Barnaba which is a fake book and the Muslims themselves they will not dare to accept it the funny when a Muslim he says to you do you know that they found the book of Barnaba and says the Prophet Muhammad the Muslim themselves they will not accept the book of Barnaba and that telling you that they are hypocrite because why you are keep saying to us the book of Barnaba book of Barnaba book of Barnaba but you yourself don't accept the book of Barnaba so this book says in chapter 35 verse 26 that shaitan uh, with shaitan he was walking away he spit on a, 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 a like in a collection of sand and then Jibril he took the sand with that spit and that from where the human where the human is created from so look what happened here and then this is the reason for him to have a belly bomb here you will say that they have the same closest stories because simply the one who wrote the book he is obviously a fat you know false person under the influence of false stories from the Muslims same time like if we want to talk about uh, uh, about the Islamic belief in those books, um, you know, you will see that this book claimed that uh, Muhammad he is the Messiah. You know, not a different person. 
So it looked like this was like a kind of a movement, another cult created out of Islam, but it was not successful and nobody believing it anyway. Uh, so going back to the stories, uh, somebody's asking me where in the book of Barnaba uh, it says that the Messiah is Muhammad. You can go to chapter 42. I'll read it from verse 4 to 10. All right. And actually, there is there is there is more places in the chapter. You can, I mean, uh, uh, I think if you go to chapter ninety-seven, to chapter chapter ninety-seven, and read it from thirteen to eighteen, you will see Barnaba says it clearly. And um, here, by, by the way, don't mix between Barnaba, the Christian, and Barnaba, the fake book. This is a fake book. It is not accepted by anyone, including the Muslims. Because that uh, totally contradicts what the Quran teach that the Messiah is a different person. So in the book of this guy Barnaba, he made Muhammad. He himself is the Messiah. And by the way, I think uh, this guy who wrote this book, he have a point. Because if you read the history of Islam, you will find that Muhammad is trying to be the Messiah. Maybe he did not claim openly that he is the Messiah, and he says the Messiah is a different person. But if you think about it, when Muhammad, he called himself Muhammad. Muhammad, his name is not Muhammad. If you go in the Quran, you will see that uh, uh, the Quran give Muhammad many names. One of them is Ahmad. So if Muhammad's name is, is, uh, is, uh, is, is Muhammad, then his name should be stay the same. But sometimes it's Ahmad, sometimes it is Muhammad, sometimes it's a Mustafa, sometimes he have 99 names. Like Allah, for he is equal to God in Islam. If you go to chapter 61 verse number six it says that he said uh, Allah that Jesus said and by the way in the whole Quran the word Jesus never appear it is Isa and we do not know who is Isa this is additional stupid uh, uh, outcome of the teaching of Islam where names are mixed up as an example uh, Isa in the Quran is the grandson of Amran but Amran there's no such a name in the Old Testament Umran. Muhammad he mixed between Umran and Umram. So Umram is the name in Hebrew. Muhammad, because he don't speak Hebrew, eh, it became Umran. He did not create right, right? He said, What the name of father of Musa is Umran. Okay, Umran, ah, Umran, like Umram, you idiot. Umran, ah, okay. So now we have a chapter, it's called the chapter of Umran, but it should be the chapter of Umram. So the father of Musa is Umram, and Muhammad he think that Isa is the son of uh, the grandson of Umram because Mary she is the daughter of Umram, and this is why Muhammad he says in different verse that Mary is the sister of Aaron. Why? Because Aaron is literally is the son of Umram. Him and Musa and they have a sister. Her name is Maryam. So Muhammad the Sili, he thought the same Maryam who is the sister of Aaron is the same Maryam is the mother of Jesus. Therefore, that Isa is the grandson of Amran. <laughs> what a family. So, and by the way, even, even the, and the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, no, no, no. When he said uh, Mary is the sister of Aaron, he meant that she is from his ancestor. That's false. She is not from his ancestor. And uh, uh, and Haru Aaron is not the greatest between the between the Jews. What about Moses then? Moses and Aaron and their sister Maryam, they are from different.